I'm going to be installing a used fork, but if you have a new one, I'll cover that too. I wear gloves to keep clean. We need a six, a five, and a four. Grease, definitely a shock pump. A couple little spacers. If you have a Fox fork and you have a 200 millimeter brake rotor, you're going to need to use an adapter right here. So I have a plus 20 millimeter adapter. Most important thing about this video, we got to get the spacers correct. If you need any of these tools, they're linked in the description. Since the fork's out of the bike, I'm gonna take the liberty to clean this. I use brake cleaner because I'm a hack, but you should use alcohol. While the bike is taken apart, we're doing a quick inspection to make sure the frame isn't cracked. This is a specialized Enduro, and they're kind of known to crack frames around the headset. For that reason, I'm going to pack this thing full of grease. Same deal on the other side. This is a small side. We're inspecting for cracks because this is a carbon bike and it's just a good time to do a bike inspection anyway. This side of the bearing, see that little part that goes down? That goes into the bike first. I used way too much grease, but oh well. This is the splitter ring. It's going to hold the bearing in place. This is the bottom of the head tube. So we have the flat edge right here and it's gonna go into the grease. Since I put like three times more grease than it needs, it should be nice and lubricated. Store, get a $6 pipe cutter. Cut that off, take you about five minutes. Go find some cement like Sam Pilgrim and scrape it on the cement. Don't buy any special tools. If you're installing a new fork, you're gonna need to put a new star nut in there and you're gonna get an extra bolt. It's the same one as the brake calipers. Thread it in a little bit, get that star nut and just hammer it home with a hammer. Don't buy the special tools. You're gonna set the star nut in there about half of an inch, whatever that is in centimeters. If you're fortunate enough to ride a specialized bike, this is the crown race. Very essential piece to put on a new fork. Transfer it from the old fork. And that definitely needed a $50 tool to install. As you can see, I'm doing it with my right hand. One benefit of using grease during the headset install is it holds the bearings in the bike. My left hand's going to hold the stem, one spacer, and the top cap. Put the fork in the bike with the bearings already in the bike. First thing to go on is the dust cap. You have to have at least one spacer on the bottom. Making sure I hold constant tension on the bridge of the fork. Now I'm gonna put the stem on. Because I'm a hack, I'm not going to cut the steer tube. I'm just gonna put a ton of spacers. As you can see, the steer crown is still popping up here. We're gonna get another spacer. Do you see there's a little bit of a space between the fork and the steer? If you don't leave a little bit of space right there, right there, then the top cap cannot suck the bearings down. So that's the most important step of this whole video. The rest of this video is bullshit, but if you want to watch it, let's go. What most people will do is they'll build it up level, then they wonder why the headset won't go tight. There are certain fancy headsets that don't need to have that little space right there, but this super basic set definitely needs it. Okay, now we're gonna tighten the top cap down and we're gonna set that torque to good and tight. Once you tighten this down, what you're gonna wanna do is turn the fork and it should spin fairly free. If it binds up, you did something wrong. Start watching the video over again. Because this is the Fox fork, we had to use a 20 millimeter adapter right here. I'm kind of using a mismatch amalgamation of bolts to get this thing together. This side's got a bunch of spacers to fill up the long bolt and the lower bolt has zero spacers. Ideally, you'll have the right bolts, but to get it done, just do what you gotta do. Make sure you have like 10 turns of the thread here. We wanna make sure the caliper has a good bite into the fork. Not a bad idea to grease these threads. I forgot to and install the front wheel on the bike. The torque setting is written on the bolt. It's nine Newton meters. It's not very tight. After the front wheel is installed, make sure the brake pads are level with the rotor and they're not sticking up above the rotor. 
Last step is to straighten the steering wheel, sit on the bike and make sure everything is perfectly straight. Double check that top bolt here. Use the opposite foot to make sure that bolt is tight. It was give it a little bit of extra turn. What I'm gonna do now is make sure the headset spins freely. The last step is to tighten the pinch bolts on the stem. After tightening the pinch bolts, we wanna grab the front brake right here and we're gonna take one hand and we're gonna shake it and I don't feel any free play. It's gonna go down a little bit in its travel, but you're feeling for free play with your right hand. No free play, this one's ready to ride.